Hey guys, it has been a really long time um, since I have done a homeschool update. Life has been really crazy this year, as I think it has for a lot of people. Um, I've had a lot of health issues this year um, that I wasn't expecting, um, starting like right at the end of summer. Um, so just this whole school year has kind of been crazy, and we just had some changes and just did things differently this year. Um, so I wanted to touch base. This is going to be a shorter, hopefully a shorter video, just kind of explaining the in general where we're at this year uh, with all of our homeschooling. And also um, I will do separate videos for what curriculum we're going to be using this coming year. Um, I have two sons in case this is the first time you're watching. My oldest um, is actually 10 now. He just turned 10 in January. Um, and he, um, has dyslexia and ADHD, dysgraphia and dyscalculia, um, and some other things. And, um, he has, um, really just been a challenge to homeschool. I have homeschooled him since kindergarten. I also have a five-year-old who turned five in October. Um, he is, uh, also a boy and he is the complete opposite of his brother. So, yeah, it has been really interesting. I have a lot of updates um, to kind of explain everything. And then, like I said, I'll do a curriculum video as well. My oldest, um, who I've pulled in school this whole time, he actually started a day program or a morning program. I should say it's an all outdoors program at a local farm about 15 minutes or so away. And he goes from nine to one. And that's every day, five days a week. And it has been amazing. This is the first year they've been open. They've in the past they've had like preschool, which they still have there on property too. But um, they opened this up to homeschoolers even before COVID hit. They had opened up, uh, um, you know, registration and stuff. So it's a Waldorf-based school. Um, it's a you know fully certified Waldorf teacher. She's taught for I think like twenty years um, or close to that. And um, this is just such a cool opportunity. It's um, it's kind of a hybrid school. So it's really meant for homeschoolers. They're not fully responsible for your child's education. Um, we do still do homeschooling with him in the afternoons, but they, they do all of the subjects. He goes in, he has, um, circle time or morning time and it's all outdoors. There's farm animals, there's horses, there's sheep, there's chickens running around. Uh, they have a pig, they have guinea pigs, rabbits, and they do farm chores and, you know, uh, all this. And there is a cabin there, which they have like a, it's a full working cabin, kitchen, all of that. So, uh, through the winter, they did spend some time in there. Um, and it's just been amazing for him. Like absolutely amazing. It's pretty small class sizes and there's two teachers and he has just flourished both academically and more so socially. Um, so I am so glad we chose to do this with him. So that's kind of what he's doing. So that has really freed me up because he's gone from nine to one every day. So that has allowed me to focus on my little guy. And uh, I, I wasn't planning on doing too much this year with him. He's five. And like I said, with my oldest, my experience with homeschooling has been, um, he's behind you know, he, at the school. He's lumped into third grade. He's technically fourth grade or however you want to put it. But um, age wise, he's fourth grade. They've put him into third grade in that school, which I think has been a good fit for him. He definitely needed to be kind of back down. Um, and there's academics. He does that is still second grade level for sure. Math specifically. Uh, his reading has really taken off. Um, that said, so my youngest just turned five in the fall. So he missed like age wise the kindergarten cutoff. He would have been in preschool this year. And um, I just kind of figured because of how my oldest was, he wouldn't be that ready for many things. So I was just going to do puzzles and we do a lot of that puzzles and that kind of thing, games, board games and arts and crafts. And he loves arts and crafts, which my oldest did not. He loves all things fine motor skills, which my oldest did not. Um, and board games, which my oldest did not. So it has been really interesting. However, we have learned that he seems to be gifted, especially in math. Um, he's just a way different kiddo. He on his own was count by the time he was two, he was counting to 20. Um, he seemed to have a really good concept of numbers. And so I, you know, was just 
he was just obsessed with math, basically all things math, very interested, very into mazes and puzzles and logic. Um, and he got into chess around age four. And, you know, in the, I feel like in this past like six months or so, I have really come to understand that I really think he's gifted in math in particular. Um, he has almost completely taught himself to multiply and divide mentally in like days. Like he just loves math and it just, it makes so much sense to him and he cross applies different math concepts, like no problem. Um, so when I do his curriculum video, you will kind of see like, you know, some of the spots he's at. I would say with reading, he's more average. Um, he did start reading kind of young, but he's kind of slowed down with that. So um, I think he's on the average level. That said, we have done more curriculum this year than I was anticipating, but I just let it go at his level. Um, for example, his quiet time, right? He still has to do an hour of quiet time every afternoon, give mom a break, right? Um, and he, he, I often find him in the homeschool room writing things out, writing paragraphs, um, you know, not always spelled correctly or whatever, but I mean, he, he writes like signs and draws these elaborate calendars and writes out math problems and pretends and, um, yeah. And, and arts and crafts. He's constantly into my construction paper and, uh, yeah. So, so that's him. That's my youngest. His name is Finn and, um, I will be homeschooling him going forward. We kind of weren't sure what we were going to do, possibly put him in school, you know, but I, I think we will definitely continue homeschooling because I just can't imagine him being challenged in regular school. And when he's not challenged, he's a real handful. Um, if he can focus for hours, he'll do Legos for like six hours straight, like no problem building elaborate Lego things with zero help from me. But if I don't have something for him to do, he is he will find something to do. And it's usually not a good thing or not a, a safe thing. And um, he's been difficult. I think that's a, a second kid problem too. But yeah, he has he has really thrown me for a loop. Um, I wasn't expecting that because of my my experience with my first. So, so that's kind of the broad update on everything. Um, like again, I, I've had terrible health issues this year. I don't want to go into too much detail, but I had um, some fainting spells at the end of last summer that were unex unexplained. Um, and the second one actually resulted in a pretty bad seizure, and I'd never had anything like that, um, which then led to crazy medications and lots of testings, and my whole world kind of just flipped upside down. Um, so not a lot happened w w as far as school goes from about August till like October, um, November-ish. And uh, finally, things kind of settled down. I got off the medication. I haven't had a seizure since that one. Um, and they definitely don't think it's epilepsy. They think it was just from the fainting. Uh, kind of figured out what was going on with the fainting and hopefully have got that mostly under control. But then I had some other health issues that I've had ongoing for a very long time, decades really, um, flare up super bad. And I will probably be needing surgery here shortly. So Anyway, this year's been crazy. Um, so that said, I will end this video here. Uh, then I'll do my my two um, curriculum hauls. Blech, my brain is fried. It's the afternoon. I need coffee. Um, so yeah, I will do that.